name is Mayan Shaw, and today we have this 1992 Elante 37RQ. Um, now this coach has fairly new tires. You can see the little pin they're still sticking out of the side. This is on the Chevy chassis, and it has the 454 big block. This coach also has leveling jacks. I think I need the ignition on. So need... They're already down right now, but if you can watch, here you can take a step back and see the coach move. That. Pretty cool. Um, really nice to have operational jacks on the coach in this price range. You don't find that very often. I have some storage compartments here, and these are slide out drawers. Oh, not all the way out. There's space down in there. Could use a shampooing, but it's not too bad. This open? Oh, this is locked. That's another storage compartment there. Let's see if this one's open. Okay, that one is open. There's some locks in here. So they don't slide out on you. Here it is. There should be more storage. That's more storage. That one's storage too. I'm sorry. Let me. You know what? Uh, you can look at the pictures. I have these all open. Let's see. Maybe the exhaust coming out there. Now this is a tag axle, um, and tag axles generally ride uh, better. Typically people with tag axles will love to argue that fact. Now another cool, neat thing about this coach is it's only about 10 feet tall, um, which is a couple feet shorter than a normal coach. So you have a lower profile, you don't have to worry about bridges nearly as much. Um, one thing I'd like to point out, there's a little bit of delamination going down this side. Um, and it's probably from water leaks from these two windows. It's a common thing, the seals break. Um, the seals are good now. It does not. It does, ha it does not have any current water leaks. Um, but as you can see, it's a little bit of delamination. Definitely seen far worse than that. Not sure what this is. No, let's open it up and see what it is. Oh, this is your. Um, okay, I don't need to open that. No, I can't. Let me figure this out. Oh, I see. Okay. So this is your um, where your black and gray tank come out. Um, it's nice. It's not exposed like a lot of coaches, older coaches are. I'll put that back later. I'm not going to fiddle with it on camera. You know, when you're nervous, or not nervous, you're on camera trying to hurry and do things perfectly. It's not going to happen. Now we have a 4,000 watt generator right here. It's an Onan Cummins micro quiet generator. It has around uh, 336 hours, which is barely anything on a generator. A oh. little bit of damage right there. It's been kind of sealed up and fixed so it won't, you know, so it's not flapping around and stuff. These are all storage compartments. Um, we're going to open those up here in a second. I'll have to get the keys. But before you do that, we're going to go ahead and get up on the roof up on the roof now. Now this has a fiberglass roof, um, which is nice, it requires much less maintenance. Not that rubber roofs are really that bad. Um, this requires a little less maintenance. Front seals. It's just a different color caulking than I'm used to. Looks pretty good. Um, it could use a new sealant within the next year or so. Um, but beyond that, look at that seal up there. It looks pretty really good. That's fresh. Still gooey. All the seals up there look good. Main seal is good. It just you could probably take a new uh, resealing within a year. It's fine now. Seals are on this little thing here. This all looks pretty good. This is probably where the uh, wiring and stuff is for your for the lights, the overhead lights. It may be ductwork as well. Um, all these seals look fresh. You have a sol you have two solar panels there. Your um, antenna right there. Good seals. Really solid roof. Again, it's a fiberglass roof. Um, rear main seal looks good. Not much to say about this roof. It's in good shape. Fiberglass roof. Again, another thing that's nice to have, especially in a coach in this price range, is a fiberglass roof. But overall, seals look good. Solid. Um, we're going to get back down on the ground. 
All right, so I've got these compartments open. It looks like you have some storage here. Um, this is a, you know, this is probably your air conditioning and heating unit right there. Yeah, I think that is. Nice. So that's where your AC unit is. Um, you've got your 30 amp power cord. Sorry about that. I think I listed this as 50 amp for some reason. Um, that's a 30 amp power cord. Um, and you also have coaxial, you know, antenna hookups there. You have your water pump switch here, um, outside shower. Um, this is where you plug up to fill your water tank or have city pressure. And there's a water hose there as well. Good side here. Let's see, I have the keys now so I can open this up. But the body looks good, you know, the, the, these, um, these stripes look fresh. Um, they're, I doubt they're original. If they are, this thing was kept in a garage for most of its life. If you have looked at other coaches, you would know. Oh, those are our detail guys right there. <laughs> okay. It's stiff. These things could take a little WD-40. Oh. You have storage in here. That's what that is. Again, decals look really good. Tires look great. You've got your jacks in there, jacks work. Um, the hot water heater little thing there. You have an access door on both sides of the cab. Super nice. Oh, wait, this is, okay, this thing you just kind of have to, I think I remember this. Just trying to give you, I'll get that door in in a minute. Just trying to give you an honest look at this coach. I mean, it is a 1992. Um, step works. All right, now we're gonna walk in on this coach. And um, so it has a clean interior. There's still a good bit of head um, headroom here, even though it's a low profile coach. Um, I'm about 5'11", probably about six feet with this bun. I'm gonna claim six feet at least. And uh, I still have some good headroom here. Um, you have your front cab area here, your doghouse there, fuel gauge. This has 101,447 miles. They have a big upgraded um, backup camera there. Your temperature gauge, of course. Look at this. These are cassette holders. Cassette holder, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you don't see that very often. You have your auxiliary battery cut off there. You can uh, you can jump the battery, your uh, starting batteries off with your coach batteries from with that button. Fog lights, ICC courtesy stuff like that. Clean front end, good bit of space for the passenger. All right. You have a nice little chair there. Now this doesn't jackknife. Um, but you take these pillows off and it becomes kind of a bed there. All right. Sorry about that noise. I think the propane sensor needs to be reset. Let me do that real quick. Clean interior. It's got Corian countertops. Here it is. There we go. Corian countertops. There's a little crack here. I mean, not too bad. Good bit of counter space. Um, storage space up here, more storage space, you have a three burner gas stove, you have a standard microwave as well as an oven, you have a new or a newer um, refrigerator here, super clean, it has an ice maker as well, and one thing um, I want to show you guys is, you see the plastic, you know it's old plastic, it gets brittle, it kind of cracked off, but you can see this is aluminum, it just shows off the aluminum backpack. Um, behind there. Um, so that's not wood, that's aluminum. Super nice. Now this dinette turns into a bed. So you can sleep one or two there. I'll get back into the bathroom area. 
You have a good bit of wardrobe space here. Tile in the bathroom area. There's a good bit of uh, shower space here. I'm 5'11 again. And I just fit in here. This is about an inch above me. Good bit of width and room in here. Sink here, vanity, medicine cabinet space. Nice bathroom layout. This has an electric fan vent cover. Again, flat screen TV. Um, I forgot to mention there's another upgraded flat screen TV in the front. Some wardrobe space back here. Much more space in that cabinet there. You have an old radio as well. Now a couple of the, um, the shades in this coach are broken. And typically what it is, I think it's like the, the spring goes bad. I'm not sure though. I've seen our RV tech fix them quite quickly. I think only two shades are, are bad. Besides that, clean interior. Um, you've got newer floors here. Tile in the bathroom. Good amount of space for this um, for a coach this low profile, and it can sleep too here, so you can sleep a good amount of people. Um, we're gonna get on the road here and take it for a test drive. If you don't wish to join us for that, my number is eight six four three seven six five six zero zero. Thank you. All right, we're getting on the, uh, the highway here with this 1992 Elante 37 RQ. Um, and again, this has the 454 big block Chevy. And, um, steering feels really good. Motor sounds good. Plenty of power. That's 40. 45, transmission shifts really well. Let's listen to it go in and out here. Shifts great. All the signals work, all the lights work. We're around 63 miles an hour here. Now it's 65. This has overdrive, um, by the way. Which is nice for a 92. Um, I think they, they started to make, around that time, they started to make a change and with uh, that overdrive, and this has it. I mean, look, we're at about 73 miles an hour. No problem. No shakes, super smooth. This thing drives great. Again, thanks to the tag axle partially. It's a low profile, so the wind isn't hitting you as much. You've got overdrive, so you can get up to 75 without blowing your ears off. <laughs> Going up this hill here, maintaining 70, no problem. Water temperature's looking really good. Alternator's putting on what it should be. Oil temperature is just below um, normal. So it's a little cooler than it should be for what I would normally get up to. Look at that backup monitor, color backup monitor. Drives really well. I'll see if this uh, cruise control works. Of course, we're going downhill, so I'm not gonna. It may not work, but it may work and I'm not using it right. I'm gonna try it again on the way back here. I've done that a couple of times. I don't use the anything right. Anyway, it drives really well. You got pretty new tires on here. The steering feels great. There aren't any shakes. Plenty of power. You have overdrive. And now this thing has a 3,500 pound towing capacity as well. Um, and you can upgrade that to 5,000 if need be. 
It's got plenty of power to tow 5,000. And we're on a downhill slope here, braking. The brakes are pretty good. It may need new pads um, somewhere in the not too distant future. Um, but they feel pretty good. They stop the coach, no problem. Oh, there's a black M5. That looks good. F10 M5. But um, sorry, I'm getting distracted with seeing cars here. <laughs> um, lost my train of thought. But it's a solid rig. Drives really well. No shakes in the steering. Brakes are good. Man, that's nice. Um, yeah, and you you have to depress the brake pedal a little bit to get to where the brake zone is, but that's that's kind of a normal thing for older coaches in general, especially Chevy, especially these Chevys. Or, but not even just Chevys. It's really Fords too. These older coaches, you got to hit the brakes a little bit to get them to stop. Uphill. This thing has plenty of power. Transmission shifts great. 35, 40 miles an hour, 45, 50. Again, shifting really well. 55. Up a hill. 60 miles an hour now. And I'm not using near. I'm not using full, full throttle either. 65 miles an hour. Almost at 70 now. Just kind of inching up to 70. Sounds like we hit overdrive. We're at 70 miles an hour going up this hill. Cruise control works. No, not big. It's not that big of a deal. You can get that fixed. We're pretty aggressively priced. I mean, it's a clean coach. You know, aluminum frame. You've got a um, fiberglass roof. You have operating jacks. I mean, finding a coach with jacks is, um, you know, under fifteen thousand is pretty hard. And then they work on top of that. This is a clean coach. Radio is good, it works pretty well. Drives good, no shakes. I mean, look at this. I would let off the steering wheel, but I'm on a curve. <laughs> Let's do that in just a second. And it even comes with a cassette holder for all of your mini cassettes, I'm sure you'll have um, to take on your long road trips. <laughs> Dead straight. solid rig um, but yeah please give me a call at 864-376-5600 again my number is 864-376-5600 and um, thank you Chad for making me get this video done quickly all right have a great day